Hey, this is Charles Van Millimeter, and I got a great product to show you today. It is the La Sportiva Cross Country Shoe, and I'm here again with uh, the Rambling Chronic PK, who's uh, guest hosting with me today, uh, because he also owns a pair of these, and we'd like to talk to about the, this shoe together. What do you think? I think they're they're amazing. I I, I wore them, and uh, I've got about 40 or 50 miles on mine. I'm guessing. And they're 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 incredible. They are quite incredible. I I have to admit these are probably one of the best shoes that I've run in. Uh, I know they're a cross country shoe, and I have used them to run in you know in trails and so forth. I really like the lug on this. Um, it is it really spits out mud real well, so you don't get mud clogging up on it. And out here where we live, in the southern part of the United States, we get a kind of a red clay. And if it gets wet, it sticks to your shoes, and it's really bad. And this seems to, to kick it off pretty well. It was, did you have the same kind of results with that? Uh, I did. Uh, there's actually a section of a, of a trail, that, or actually a, a road slash trail that we run regularly. And uh, it will tend to rain, and then it will get muddy, of course. And that clay will, will tend to clot up. And these things, they, they just kick it out, and they're, you, know, you wipe them off, they're like brand new. So uh, I... I, I I've used them on the road as well as the trail, and, and both of them are incredible. You know, that's interesting you say that because I've also used them on the road, and even though they're not recommended for the road, they're such a comfortable shoe, and it, it has, I don't know what the degree is. It's not a zero drop, but it's pretty close. It's a very, very small amount of heel to it, which we like because we're both minimalist shoe users, and I also like the fact that it's got a, you know, it's got a real minimalist sort of, uh, 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 support on the inside. I'm trying to think of the words here, but the the doesn't the insole is not highly formed, so you're not trying to get a you know a square peg into a round hole. Let me let me point out something <clears throat> about that. That that's not by accident. It's very common in uh, hiking and backpacking sh uh, shoes to have that type of support because of the way that it that it, over the mileage. Uh, you'll beat that down and this shoe is made very similar to that so that it will withstand uh, hundreds and hundreds of miles. I agree. Let's uh, let's go over some of the quick features. We've already covered the great sole. We've covered the insole which is terrific. Uh, it's got a shield here. The laces are actually down inside of a pocket which is covered by this shield. The shield is going to protect you for all kinds of uh, you know branches or you know sticks or whatever that might catch and um, rip up your your um, your laces or trip you and that's uh, that takes care of that uh, this material I don't know what kind of nylon material they're using but this is some of the toughest outer I've ever seen on a running shoe would you agree? I, I agree. I, I, I actually <laughs> tested them just a little bit and, and poked and prodded them with a with a couple of sticks just to see how well they would give and would not and and I mean whatever it is it's it's incredible it's stuff. incredibly tough it really is uh, a lot, it's got a nice uh, got this uh, the rubber protector on the toe which rolls up over starts at the sole underneath the sole comes up and rolls over that protects the toe uh, the rest of it is just this tough material which I noticed, now I came out of the shoe industry, and so I know a little bit of something about uh, stitching. The stitch count on this is very, very tiny. There's a lot of stitches everywhere on this shoe. And these stitches are very well done and closed up, and I, I don't see any, any excess threads hanging out. Uh, the termination points for the for the the stitching is closed up so that that you're not uh, exposing the end of the stitch and giving a chance for it to unravel uh, it just really is not only comfortable it's durable it's well made and I think it's really reasonably priced for this type of shoe don't you think oh it is it is these are these are quality shoe and you get a quality product for a quality price yeah La Sportiva seems to be really focusing on the trail runner the distance runner who's doing a you know mountain running um, I think that's what they're really that's really their their demographic is really the trail shoe they make a whole line of other trail shoes I wish they would make a road shoe I really would if you were to take this shoe and put a smooth sole on it 
this would be the shoe I would wear every day. Well, I've got to say, I, I, I do wear them on the road. They're, I know they're not made yeah, that too. way because of this, but I, I really enjoy the way that they, they land, and they're very comfortable. Uh, they don't beat my feet up. And to be honest, I don't get many blisters in them, so I, I really like that. Excellent. Yeah, I, we're going to give them a thumbs up, a big thumbs up for La Sportiva. Fantastic job on a fantastic shoe. A La Sportiva cross-country. You uh, also... Be sure to listen to the Rambling Chronic PK show. It's a podcast on iTunes. It's the Rambling Chronic PK for an inspiration and for self-help and a little bit of running, too. And he's also a La Sportiva shoe wearer as well. Thanks for coming on the show today. Appreciate you being here. Enjoyed it. Anytime. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.